What's up YouTube? This is Cobra Timmy and I'm here to present you episode 1 for 2014 of Cobra on the Web. Uh, what this is, is it's going to be any purchases that I found online. Um, online is going to be consisted of eBay, Amazon, uh, any of the other online bidding websites. I guess you call it Listia. I don't know if I'll ever be on that or not. But it's just an example. Um, I'm going to call the In the Wild finds all the video, all the stuff that I've picked up like at thrift stores, garage sales, Craigslist, stuff like that. So, with that being said, um, I have three deals here. Three different eBay bids that I got. Uh, both all came early this week, I believe. Um, again, I previously stated in uh, Cobra Scavenges Episode 7 that I have another video to do from last year of all my on the web videos but I'm just gonna list that as 2013 online purchases or something cuz uh, I'm gonna start this up this year it's just a way to keep all my stuff organized so um, this first one I got uh, these are in no order I'm just kinda going to uh, okay the coolest order in my opinion um, it might be different to others but I don't care uh, this first one was on three GameCube games. Uh, honestly, there's only it is more like two and a half, but the half game I didn't really care about. I got it for one other game. Um, I'm not gonna mention prices either because sometimes I tend to pay the going price for it. Because if anybody knows it's on eBay, it's it's hard to get stuff cheap. Uh, that's why I'd rather rely on. Uh, my garage sale finds and all that more because it's easier to get deals online rather than or uh, at garage sales rather than online um, I could prove that to you because last year I got a Nintendo uh, complete with two controllers c cables and a box of games for five bucks I didn't even hesitate I didn't care if it worked or not I just grabbed it all uh, you tell me if you can go on eBay and get a Nintendo or a, a Nintendo Entertainment System. Doesn't have to be box, you know, just loose. Two controllers, uh, box game genie. I forgot I had got with it also, and uh, one of them like suitcase containers that holds games, full of games. Uh, tell me if you can get that on eBay for five bucks. So that's just an example. But anyways. Uh, to get the finds going, uh, the half game that I got uh, was Resident Evil Zero. It's uh, disc one. They came in discs like these. They don't have the cases, which kind of sucks, but I don't care. Uh, I, the game that I wanted, I didn't want to pay the price that you get can get it for. Uh, I might look for it here locally, see if I can get it. These games... Uh, for a cheap price and maybe I'll just turn these over and try to sell them or trade them one or the other but uh, that was a okay pl uh, shaped disc um, if anybody needs it for theirs or say their disc doesn't work uh, it's available uh, the other game I got uh, Star Fox Assault uh, these are all GameCube games if I didn't mention by the way too uh, there is like a sticky residue on here and then the disc uh, it's got some scratches but I believe it'll work okay um, so that was game number two that'll go in my collection and then the one that I really wanted to buy I've been trying to look for it cheap and I really can't find it cheap so I bought this lot uh, was Luigi's Mansion um, you know, I, I can't find it on eBay cheap. Um, I might be not seeing it when I look. Uh, I look very at various times. Uh, usually when I see Luigi's Mansion in a, a set, uh, it ends up going up to like $70, $80. But that's usually because it's got Mario games in with it. The Mario parties and all that. 
and I actually don't have any of them, so I try to get those. Uh, but the only thing with this one is uh, it's kind of in rough shape. It's got some scratches on it. Uh, it can either be resurfaced, probably. I'm going to try. But I'm going to test it first, see if it works. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but it should work. I never had too many problems with any of the games on the GameCube. Um, if anybody has, let me know. Uh, do scratches really affect them that much? Um, they're not deep scratches. It's just kind of like surface scratches. So, um, Anyways, the second one that I got uh, was just one game. But uh, it's kind of an expensive game to get for the, NES, the SNES. Uh, but I liked it when I was young. Came in bubble wrap. So it was packed nice, uh, but it was uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Uh, I believe, Ronnie Hayes, you said you were looking for this game, but uh, I just picked this up. Uh, I believe I paid close to retail for it, what it goes for online. But I don't care, it's actually a pretty decent uh, condition game. Uh, the, only, the only flaw I see is like the two sides, the, the back is paler than the front. But all I'd have to do is like unscrew this all out and switch the back with another one. Excuse me. And then uh, it will be just like new. But uh, this last box here, I'm going to pull it off to the side because I want to show you guys stuff as I pull it out. Nicely packed. Uh, there was newspaper and stuff in here. Uh, but the stuff I got in here, uh, this was... Uh, a little bit on the expensive side too, but I didn't care because some of this stuff I've been looking for and again, they're highly priced also uh, th I got this which is the I believe they say this is the GameCube to Game Boy Advance uh, cord uh, I don't know what you use that for but I know that's around um, I kind of got the deal more for these because uh, I have two GameCubes, or yeah, I have at least one, I know for sure, that's available for trade, um, but I don't remember, I have, I believe I have bricks for them, but if I don't, um, I got some here, um, got not one, but two GameCube bricks, um, these tend to go for like, I think people say they're like eight to twelve dollars online. So the price that I got all this for, they probably average out to about five bucks. Um, and then next part I got in this deal, uh, what I believe this is the Mario Party mic. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know what it looks like, but uh, I figured that's what this was. Um, it is GameCube. All this stuff, GameCube stuff. So. That's what made me get this. And then the last piece I got, well, there's two pieces. Um, it's st they're still in the bubble wrap because I mean I haven't took it, taken them out and looked at them much. But uh, it's the Game Boy Player. I suppose I could take this out quick to show. Hopefully, don't take too long. There we go. The Game Boy Player. I was like, damn, that's really rattly, but that's why, because uh, these two screws that go up and down in it. Um, for as long as I owned my GameCube, I never had Game Boy, so I didn't need this. But uh, with the garage sailing I did over the summer, I got each system except for like the newer DSs and all that. So I've got. The pieces to use that with so that's why I wanted to get one of these and then I also got the disc as well which was also in its in a bubble wrap but then he also has a uh, little memory card in here so I got all that stuff um, so that was all in one lot so I grabbed it uh, the price I agreed with so can't complain more stuff to add to my collection so there you go um, this is 
Cobras on the web episode one uh, second I guess video installment of uh, finds or videos that I will have um, I guess comment below let me know what you think of my titling for these videos I believe I had a name sort of for this this that was similar but uh, just let me know I'm trying to be a little creative and keep my stuff organized um, again to people that haven't watched my uh, Cobra Scavenges 7 video um, I did create a Facebook fan page uh, I will have the link down below uh, if you want to contact me for trades or whatever through my dumpster dive videos or uh, some stuff I've picked up in the wild just for trade bait um, you see something you're interested in let me know and you know if you can't contact me through Facebook or I mean YouTube go to the Facebook page and contact me uh, I've had a couple of people contact me already for deals on there um, so these are actually the first couple of videos where I can actually announce the page to everybody that's on my YouTube channel so uh, go ahead and check it out I have uh, a quick link in my little uh, banner that's on my YouTube page if that helps out if not I'll have a direct link to the on this video so check it out like it if you are gonna contact me to do deals and stuff support me please that would be greatly appreciated and I'm gonna wrap this video up so uh, have a good day guys uh, happy hunting hope luck goes your way like it did for me here and have a good day Peace.